Welcome back to part two of Sedona Rocky Textured Abstract. In part one, we laid down three different texture paste, painted and antiqued our texture with vivid intense fluid acrylics. In this section, we will add a surface decorative design with moon rocks painted with primary elements, then coated with resin, add clay and rock components painted with primary elements and prism pour. I hope you enjoy part two. Section 4 voiceover 1. Notice how the moon rocks look like a platinum color. This is their natural state, how we get them in the raw. In the center of my piece, I decided I was going to add some of these natural looking blingit moon rocks. In order to the mount them properly to my board, they're going to need to be split up. I decided I should paint the background of my open area before mounting the moon rocks, so I painted it with the Vivid Intense Cobalt Aqua. Then I begin gluing down the moon rocks with some heavy gel medium. rocks can kind of stick to your fingers with that gel medium and so I use the bamboo skewer to help push them down especially in those corners.
While waiting for the moon rocks to dry, I decided to add some of the Bling It Ember Fire. First I started trying to rub it on with my fingers and then I ended up using a brush. Notice how I focused brushing the ember fire over the lighter areas that I had painted with the Nicoazzle Gold. Next, with a paintbrush, I varnished all the areas where I had used the smooth texture paste. My apologies, I lost the footage where I had colored the moon rocks with the sea dancer and the jasmine. After looking at the moon rocks, the jasmine was just a little bit too bright. So I decided to tone down the color by mixing the primary element Cylon Cinnamon with some vivid intense nickel as a gold and spot painted over the moon rocks. As I was moving this thing around, I noticed how much that rough textured area sparkled where I did not apply the varnish. So I waited about an hour for the moon rocks to dry 
And meanwhile, I taped off one side of the canvas so the resin wouldn't run off. I taped the bottom. Then I ran tape straight up the middle. Then I put tape from the middle to the top. Notice how it made a barrier on that one side where the tape came off so the resin cannot run off. Next I mixed up one ounce of resin and then I used a silicone spoon to spread the resin over the moon rocks. Make sure you leave this piece to completely dry overnight before you do your next section. After looking at my piece, I needed a focal element, somewhere where your eye could go. So I decided to make a clay uh, decorative piece with some Sculpey air dry clay. So I rolled out some clay making kind of a small round disc. Next I used the lid of the jar to kind of cut it into a round shape. Then I used a rubber stamp to press in the design. You do need to let this clay dry completely overnight. The next day I used some Prism Pour Water Dragon and I painted the clay. I love this beautiful aqua color. These man-made white rocks are perfect for soaking up color. In a small tub, I put in about a tablespoon of the rocks, added a few drops of the Vivid Art Fluid Clear Medium. Next, I sprinkled a small amount of Primary Elements Guatemalan Green, Prime Elements Aquamarine and some Bling at Boreal. Then I closed the tub and shook it. Next, blow the rocks with a hair dryer for a couple minutes to completely dry them on that paper towel.
Next, I antiqued the clay by brushing on some sepia brown I had mixed with the Vivid Intense Pyro Orange and Ultramarine Blue. Then I spritz the water over that sepia. See how it goes down into the cracks? Then quickly blot with a paper towel just on the top, bringing that turquoise back, but leaving the sepia down into the crevices. Final steps. I glued down my teal color rocks and gray swirl with some acrylic gel medium. Allow your piece to sit and dry completely overnight. And here are the final results. I love how this piece looks in the different settings. Yes, it's an app so you can see what your piece would like look like in different settings in your house. I just love it. I want to thank you for joining me. If you've enjoyed this content, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And until next time, remember, life is art. Live yours in color.